Now let's bear in a wee word of prayer before we turn to God's Word. Our Heavenly Father, we do thank Thee, Lord, indeed for Thy Word and for what it means to us. And we pray now, Lord, as we read therefrom, that we would hear Thy voice, and Lord, that Thy voice would be real to us this morning. I am trusting Thee for power. Thy power, Lord, as always it cannot fail. And this word that Thou Thyself has given to me, it shall, it must, and it will prevail. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, we're turning to the Old Testament book of Malachi this morning, the last book of the Old Testament. And we're turning this morning to the book of Malachi. And when you come to the book of Malachi, come with me, please, to chapter number 3. Malachi, please, in chapter number 3. You know, friends, this morning on this new morning of another new year, it's true, isn't it? How the years, how quickly the years come, the years go. And mind you, every year brings changes. There's no doubt about it. Every year brings change. Brings some big changes. Unexpected changes. Some for the good. And perhaps some not for the good. Many a year can soon bring change to a family. Years can bring change even to a fellowship. A year can bring a big change, mean you, to our health. And a year can soon bring a change to our homes. The years come and the years go. And the years do bring changes. For a lot of people, the end of 2016 was a lot different as, to ha as it was when it began. The end of 2016, <laughs> it was so different to what it was at the beginning. You know, that's what makes it so uncertain as we look in towards another new year. Because years bring change, friends, we, as we always enter into a new year, it brings with it that feeling of insecurity. Because we don't know what change 2017 will bring to your life. And we'll not know what 2017 will bring, what change it'll bring to my life. And we don't know what 2017 holds for you or for me as to what, as to what change it will bring. Every year, in some way, brings change. But God has a lovely thought for us this morning. Oh, boys, it's a thought that brings me great comfort. And I know this morning that this thought that the Lord has for us is going to bring you great comfort. When we live today in the midst of change, and mind you, nobody likes change. 
Nobody likes change. But God has a lovely thought for us on this first morning of a new year. And I'll tell you where you'll find my text. You'll find it in the Old Testament book of Malachi, chapter 3, and it's in verse number 6. Now, listen to what God has to say to us this morning. Malachi, chapter 3, and verse number 6. Are you listening? This is what it says. For I am the Lord. I change not. Now, that's my text for this morning. I say, isn't that a lovely thought? As we enter into this new year, to hear God say, not George McConnell, not any Old Testament prophet at all, no, when we hear God Himself say, for I am the Lord, I change not. I'm telling you, friend, the years change as everything. And the years changes everyone, but the years don't change the Lord. Thank God they don't change Him. I love that wee verse in Hebrews. Hebrews 13 and verse number 8. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today and forever. The same Lord Jesus that healed the sick is the same Lord Jesus today. The same Lord Jesus that raised the dead is the same Lord Jesus today. The same Lord Jesus that rose again from the dead is the same Lord Jesus today. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday. Today, forever, all may change, friends. All may change, but Jesus never. For I am the Lord, he says. I change not. Do you know what that teaches me this morning? That teaches me the one who is relevant to meet Israel's needs in the days of old is the same one tonight, this morning, who is relevant to meet our needs for today. For I am the Lord, I change not, he says. You want to know something else? The Lord that has governed this old world of ours and the current affairs down through the years and generations and centuries. He's the same God that's governing the affairs of this world and will govern them in 2017. Listen to him this morning. I am the Lord. I change not. 2016 might have changed you, God says, but it never changed me. The generations might change this world, but they don't change God, friends. Now, here's the wee thought the Lord wants you to get a hold of this morning. He says, I am the Lord. I change not concerning my person. I am the Lord. I change not concerning my, peop my person. Do you know what it is? People change like the weather. Attitudes change. Moods change. People, my goodness, they change like the weather. Their faithfulness changes, and sometimes their love changes. People's loves ebbs and woes. 
But listen, friends, God's person doesn't change. He's still God. The one who created this world in which we are now living, he hasn't changed from the eternal ages past, even before this world was ever made. Even before the sun and the moon and the stars appeared, he's still the same God. For I am the Lord, he says. I change not. And you know, child of God, this morning, this morning, as we face this new year. And perhaps this morning, this new year is a new year that is so uncertain, and it is so uncertain for all of us. The Lord wants you to know He doesn't change, even though we change. And even though this new year may bring changes to your life, may bring changes to your home, may bring changes to you in the workplace. He wants you to know, even though all things may change, I'm not subject to change. Let me tell you this morning, God is not subject to change. I'll tell you this this morning, His loving kindness doesn't change. Jeremiah 31, verse 3 says, The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love, and with loving kindness I have drawn thee. His loving kindness doesn't change. Men, you, men's love changes, and so does women's love change. George Matheson was a young man at the age of 20, he fell in love with this beautiful lady. And they were about to get married when George Matheson was diagnosed with a disease that was going to leave him blind for the rest of his life. On a week or two before their wedding, his bride-to-be said, George, George, I cannot, I cannot be a wife to a man that's going to be blind. And she took her ring off and handed the ring back and never saw him again. But his sister took a charge of him and looked after him for a number of years until the sister met someone. And they were going to get married on the day before his sister was to get married. George Matheson said that that night before his sister's wedding, it was the darkest night of his life. But in those dark moments, George Matheson penned some lovely words that has graced our hymnbooks. Love with an everlasting love, led by grace, that love to know. Do you know, friends, let me tell you this morning, child of God, his love never changes. His mercies, they change not either there and you every morning. Friend, his greatness has never changed. Do we not read in Psalm 90, verse 2, Before the mountains were brought forth, forever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting. Thou art God. Can you hear his voice this morning? For I am the Lord. I change not. And 
27 kings not going to change me. I change not concerning my person. And then he says this this morning, I am the Lord, and I change not concerning my presence. Oh, I think that was music till Joshua's ears. Do you remember in Joshua chapter 1? You remember Joshua was taken over from Moses, and God said this to Joshua this morning, As I was with Moses all those years, Joshua, those years when I was with Moses, I never failed him, I never forsook him. As I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. You don't know this morning what, what role God is going to call you into in 2017. And maybe God has been speaking to you concerning some role. And you feel inadequate for it. You may say to yourself, I couldn't do that. That's beyond me. Well, I'm sure Joshua must have felt, no, no, Moses' two sh shoes, are they're, they're too big for me. I couldn't wear those shoes. Uh, God says, now listen, Joshua, as I was with, with Moses, so I shall be with thee, for my presence shall go with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. No wonder this morning has God his finger on someone here. God has been showing you something. God has been leading to you, someone into some fear of service. You feel inadequate. You feel that's not for me. 2012, I knew what it was like. Pastoral work, that's not for me. But God was leading and God was guiding and God was speaking. It's not for me. Well, that's what I thought, you know. I said to myself, I couldn't fill a pastor's shoes. I couldn't be a pastor pastor. Sure, I'm an evangelist. And remember the Lord speaking to me. And this is what he said to me the next morning after the call came from this fellowship. John 15, verse 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And God says, this is nothing to do with you, it's to do with me. And maybe there's someone here this morning and God's saying that to you, listen, this is nothing to do with you, it's to do with me. And as I was with Moses, I'll be with thee. I'll tell you, friends, from the 19th of October 2012, the Lord hasn't left me yet, you know. The Lord has been at my side the whole way. As not a day goes by, I don't know His presence. And He'll be with you whatever 2017 brings across your path. You know, he says, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Listen to what he says. Verse Isaiah 41, 13, For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not. I will help thee. I'll tell you, friends might fail you, but God will not fail you. The family might even fail you. God won't fail there's a picture frame that hung on my granny's 
whole wall. I remember it from a child, when I was a child. After she died, then my auntie had this picture passed down to her. It hung on her front wall. And for over 20 years, she came to us every Christmas day, right up until last year. And every Christmas night when her and I, I left her into the home, and she was a wee woman, she wasn't tall, and I used to put my arm around her in the hall, and I used to read the poem with her every every Christmas night. Well, she died on the 31st of January past, there last year. And that picture now hangs in the hall of, of my home. It's a unique picture because on this unique picture, there's a unique poem that was read out in 1939 by King George VI on his Christmas Day speech, 1939. Britain had just entered into another world war, and mind you, 1940 was anything but bright. And King George VI read this poem out that his daughter, our present-day queen, gave to him that year when she was just 13. And you know what the title of the poem is? It's called The Gate of the Year. And this is what it reads. And I said to the man who stood at the gate of the year, Give me a light that I may tread safely into the unknown. And he replied, Put your hand into the hand of God that to you will be better than light and safer than a known way. God says, child of God, to your heart, as he's been saying to my heart, 2017, will you hold on to this promise? I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, for I am the Lord. I change not concerning my presence. Ah, but here's something this morning. I am the Lord, and I change not concerning my promises. Do you know, friends, God's promises stand sure today? Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. How is that, Lord? How can it be? I am the Lord, he said. I am the Lord. I change not. And his promises are forever sure, child of God. Let me give you a number of promises this morning that will never change. John 14, verse 3 has yet to take place, and it will. I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am there ye may be also. And that's only for the born-again Christian. If you're not saved this morning and the Lord comes, you'll be left behind. I am the Lord, I change not concerning my promise. Another great promise is John 3, 17, him that cometh, John 3, 30, so, so John 6, 37, him that cometh to me, I will in no ways cast out. I say, that's a lovely promise. Ah, but listen. There's a promise in John chapter 3 you need to listen to. Except a man be born again, 
This is what God promises. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And that's a promise on the safe person that should touch your heart this morning. John 10, 28, I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. That's a great promise. Do you know D.L. Moody was at the bedside of an old saint of God as he was dying? And the old saint of God got very restless. Mr. Moody, he says, Mr. Moody, I can't remember one of God's promises. I was thinking if I could remember his promises, it would comfort me. I can't remember one of them, Mr. Moody. D.L. Moody, the man of God that he was, knew that Saint, Satan was taunting him in his last moments. Listen, child of God, here's a wee word for you. Don't be one bit surprised if Satan taunts you at the last moments. When it comes to your time to die, Satan may taunt you. As he taunted this man, Moody knew that Satan was taunting. And this is what Moody said. Sir, he said, it's not up to you or me to always remember God's promises. That's his job. Even though you don't remember them, God forgets none of them. The old saint of God smiled and said to Moody, Moody, it is well. I can die in peace. Oh, yes, I am the Lord. I change not concerning my person. I am the Lord. I change not concerning my presence. I am the Lord. I change not concerning my promises. Ah, but listen. I am the Lord. I change not concerning my purposes. I'm going to tell you something now, friend. He'll not change concerning his saving purpose. First Timothy 2 and 4, Who will of all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth? I'll tell you, God hasn't changed to that one. His sanctifying purpose, he says, I will build my, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Listen, God's still calling out a people for himself this morning. But here's what God wants you to know. For many, there's a lot of people panicking. I am the Lord, and I change not concerning my purposes as far as the affairs of this world is concerned. People's panicking about this Brexit. Maybe we shouldn't have come out. Listen to what the Lord says. I am the Lord, I change not. The one who spoke, and, and it was so, let me tell you this, he's the one that's controlling Brexit. The people may have voted, but God might not have just let us go out yet. Don't you be worrying about Brexit, what's going to happen. Oh, this is the way. I hear some Christians panicking. Oh, what are we going to do when we land in the United Ireland? Ah, oh, don't you be worrying about the United Ireland or Brexit. God's in control of this universe. I am the Lord, he says. I change not. Do you think God is out of control concerning the affairs of this world and the affairs of Europe or the affairs of Northern Ireland? Let me tell you, God's still in control. And don't you panic. Don't you let the politicians bluff you. God's the one who has never failed. 
God is the one who has never changed. His politicians have changed for goodness sake. They've done somersaults over the years. Ah, well, God will not somersault. And then people, they're panicking about Donald Trump. Oh, my goodness, the world has us now. There'll be a nuclear explosion. Trump will push the button and the whole thing will go haywire. God says, I am the Lord. I change not. Donald Trump is not in control of God. Let me tell you, God's in control of Donald Trump. This Putin boy in Russia, what's he going to do? Putin's not in control of God. God's in control of Putin. I am the Lord. I change not concerning my purpose. And I know the politicians in Stormont would make you boil at times. And you pray for them anyway, if that's what we're called to do. And this is what God says to you this morning, I am the Lord. 2017 is not going to change my plans and purposes for your world. There's a great reverse in Ephesians 1, verse 11. This is what it says, Who, according to the purpose of him, who worketh all things after the counsel of his will. God's working America to the counsel of his will. God is in control of Europe, and God's working through Europe after the counsel of his will. Child of God, rest in this promise this morning. Whatever 2017 holds, don't you be afraid. For the one who holds 2017 says, I am the Lord. I Change not. And I think that's a lovely thought as we go into a new year. The years bring big changes. But God is not subject to the changing of the years. He says, I am the Lord. I change not. Trust me for the year that lies ahead. May God bless His Word to our hearts. In our closing.